there's one thing you need to think about and that is do you keep your mesh using smooth mesh or do you actually uh, apply a smooth operation to the model now the reason for this is when you are playing with UVs particularly on a mesh that's be had smooth mesh applied Maya doesn't really work with it nicely when you're unfolding because the geometry because there's not as much geometry in there it sort of gets confused um, let me just show you as an example so let's uh, let's pick this model here uh, let's just press shift I to isolate what I'm going to do is assign an existing material which is a checker map now you can't see anything at the moment so I'm just going to uh, create UV plane our map let's just plane our map from the front so down the Z axis apply so there we have our UVs applied and because we've projected it from the front we've got stretching at the top and the bottom and the back is reversed so we need to unfold this so that it's just one strip so that these these grids here and these numbers flow over the surface in a more uniform manner because if you imagine when you go into paint your textures the textures are going to be stretched here and they're going to be reversed here so let's just go into our UV texture editor. So there's, here are our UVs currently. So before we unfold this, we need to dictate a seam. And this is where the UVs are going to be cut, which will allow it to sort of be peeled open. So usually you want to put your seams in places where they're not going to be seen, or try and hide them as much as you can. And as this is between the main body and the arm, Let's just uh, create a seam at the bottom here. So go to Polygon, cut UV edges. And now all we would normally do is we right click, unfold selected UVs. Let's just move this down. I'll just reset this setting here. Now when I'm working in Maya with UVs, I like to, to sort of follow this same procedure. No matter what I'm UVing, with, be it a head, be it a nice cylinder like this model is or a cube um, this is exactly the same process that I follow for no matter what I'm doing so let's have a look at this then so this will unfold the UVs now you have pinning here so you can pin certain UVs and you have constraints so rather than go and do a constraint of none if I click apply now you'll see it just goes completely wrong so if we undo that so first of all you want to constrain it so because we want to peel this open and sort of vertically rather than horizontally first we want to constrain it to the vertical axis click apply and as, as you can see it's not unfolded as nicely as you'd imagine and this is because this is down to us using smooth mesh now as I said, because there's not a lot of topology in there, Maya's getting confused because it's trying to calculate between the vertices. Um, and when you apply a smooth mesh to an object, it's so that there isn't actually any extra geometry in there to smooth the object. Um, so we need to trick Maya into thinking there's more geometry in this model than there actually is. So let's just close this down. Let's undo that. So we could go in, unfold this, and then go in and move the vertices around and try and fix it ourselves. Now this is a much more simplified model, so you could possibly go in and fix those by hand anyway. Um, but I'm just going to show you a quick procedure which allows you to keep the smooth mesh model, so you keep the low resolution model, but you can also get a nice layout of the UVs. So what we're going to do is we are first going to duplicate this model and just move it to one side. Press 1 to disable smooth mesh and then I'm going to go in and actually add, bake in a single division um, into the model. So we're just going to smooth the UV, smooth all, click apply and as you can see from here if we compare the models 
that has a lot more geometry in there. But what we can do now is if we go back to our unfold options, go to vertical, click apply, as you can see that has unfolded in a much nicer way and it's a lot easier for us to now go in and edit this to get what we want. So let's just let's close let's just move this over here for a second. Make this a little bit bigger. So the top we just want to constrain those. Just align all these just to make this nice and neat. Let's just minimize that. We'll select that edge like so, convert the selection to UVs and then we'll pin those to that side there. Well not pin but we're just snapping all those and aligning them so they're in a nice straight line or we could just select them like so and like that. Now we can select the UVs in the middle and now we want to spread it horizontally because we don't want to do it vertically otherwise we're going to have to realign the top and the bottom. Click apply and you see that spreads out nicely. Now we can select all but the top and the bottom and do that vertically like so. So now we've got a nice set of UVs on that model. So at this stage you could say right I'm not bothered I'm quite happy to have a higher polygon count in this scene so I'm just going to delete this lower res model and we'll just use that and we'll smooth every model and fix the UVs this way. But having more geometry in a scene isn't always a good thing. Perhaps you want to be a bit more flexible with your geometry. So having all these extra vertices in here is going to make it a lot more difficult to play around with this model later on or if you want to do more with the UVs. Whereas something like this, there's a lot fewer vertices to play around with. Also, if you're adding more uh, geometry to this model, it's going to increase your file size. So you have to sort of play around and think with which what is going to suit your pipeline the best. So let's just take this a step further. We have our UVs fixed on this model, but we want those UVs on this model here. So all we need to do is select our, our high res model, add the low res model to that selection, go to mesh, transfer attributes. And in here we can transfer all sorts of things between models, vertex normals, vertex positions. What we want is UV sets. And we'll set that to all for now. And we want to set our sample space to lo local. Click apply and you see something changed in here. So that's our high res model with the UVs that we fixed and that's our low res model. And as you can see those UVs are now laid out very nicely. They'll be a lot easier for us to play around with if we eventually have to come in and tweak the UVs and we've got a lot less geometry to play around with. So let's just delete the history on that. Delete by type history and now we can delete our high res model because we've got our low res UVs here. If we just reduce that down, because don't forget our texture page is going to be restricted to this, uh, this grid square here. So that's obviously going to be too big. So let's just reduce that down a little bit. So that's just showing you a quick way if, if you are opting to use smooth mesh as we are going to be throughout this tutorial. If you're having problems with UVing a certain uh, object, then duplicate it, add a smooth, fix the UVs on the smooth model because then you've got the extra topology in there, so the uh, unfold uh, tools will work much better. Fix the UVs up however you like, and then transfer the attributes back across. So let's close this down. And bring that back. So you can now follow that exact same procedure on all the other elements of this model.